Welcome to the floor of Fusta 2005 today. Uh, this item is a little bit too big to be on my desk, so uh, we're on the floor today. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the uh, latest thing that I have purchased. I've been wanting to get this for quite a while. Uh, I'm a guitar player. I've had several different types of guitars. Um, none of them are really quite this nice. And I, I spent a lot of time deciding uh, which guitar to get. I went around and played different, different types, different brands. Uh, finally settled on this one. This is the Taylor 814 CE DLX or Deluxe and it is their new newest bracing system which is uh, called V-Class so in the shape of uh, most guitars are in the shape of an X this one is the shape of a V uh, it does sound a little bit gimmicky but there is quite a sound difference between uh, the X brace and the V-Class uh, v bracing uh, so, uh, I, w I probably won't play it for you today, but I do encourage everybody to go into any guitar store and test them out uh, as, as uh, finding a good sound for a, a YouTube video uh, just doesn't do the guitar justice. So, uh, definitely go, go down to a guitar store in your local area and check it out. So let's go ahead and uh, get this out of the box. I did see this in the store, but I haven't really played with it too much. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there it is. Um, tell you a little bit about it and then we'll kind of look at the other sides. Um, it is a Grand Auditorium, which is kind of their their middle of the road, kind of uh, able to do most anything. Sounds pretty good. It has a has a good um, range of tone. It does have the Sitka spruce top and the Indian rosewood um, body and sides, so sides and back. Has the Expression System 2, which is their second iteration for the Taylor line. Uh, it does have a Venetian cutaway. Uh, I do not like the uh, the other type of cutaway that has kind of a pointy end. I think that's a... Um, I forget what it's called. But uh, the Venetian cutaway is, is uh, kind of more my style, so I got that. And like I said, it has V-Class bracing. Uh, as I said, it is the 814 CE Deluxe. The 800 series is kind of their flagship uh, guitar series. Uh, so I did test other ones out. There are de there there are definitely more expensive guitars in their lineup. They have the the 900 series. They have uh, the Builder series. All of them well over four or five thousand dollars. Definitely. Uh, definitely not not within my price range. Uh, I did have to save quite a bit um, to get this one, but uh, I mean Taylor actually has a professional edition or something. I forget what it's called, but uh, anyway, the guy at the guitar store showed me it. It's it's got a redwood uh, redwood top and sides, and it's uh, reclaimed redwood or something. It's, it's supposed to be a really rare type of wood that you can get but um, yeah I played it and this one far surpassed it's the, even the sound but that the professional edition was twelve thousand dollars I was not about to spend that much so um, <clears throat> anyway so you can get different options and stuff with these but I just stuck with the uh, factory model, whatever, however they come from the factory. Uh, it does have the Godot tuners. Um, 
pull it out a little bit here. As you can see, they're, they're um, well, you can't see. Let's pull it out here. These are the Godo tuners. They're, they're kind of fun to play with. Um, they're really soft, uh, rounded edges. Um, but it does have a ratio of 21 to 1. So what that means is uh, it's supposed to be better tuning, uh, better finesse with tuning. Uh, it has 21 to 1 ratio, which, which means every 21 turns with the, the tuning knob is one revolution on the peg. So uh, it does take quite a bit to to uh, change the strings. I'm not going to be too excited when I do that. But uh, you know, the brand new guitar comes with uh, brand new strings. And um, how you, uh, just a little side note while we're looking at this, uh, how you can tell if it's the B-Class bracing is they have a uh, black nut here. Uh, the other Taylor line that have the X bracing have a white nut or a, an ivory one. So there's that. Um, let me take a little bit closer look at the front here. The Sitka Spruce has uh, Andy Powers signature on the inside. Um, this is one of the earlier models uh, according to the serial number that I can tell. Um, and then you have the Indian rosewood sides and back with some maple bindings and uh, a really cool feature that I like is this beveled edge here. This is a, um, I forget what it's called, a circumference bevel. Anyway, there's two types of bevel, bevels that they have. They have one that's really defined and kind of flattened out and those are on the 900 model uh, series and above so they have uh, on their on their custom editions this one uh, was, is really comfortable but it's not quite as defined but it is really rounded here so it doesn't cut into your arm when you're when you're playing the guitar and I really liked that so I got that uh, and as we can see here's the uh, the expression system. I uh, have yet to figure out what all the knobs do, but I'll be doing that shortly. Um, but yeah, we can go over a little bit more about what the guitar has on it. it does come with a case. It is really plush in here. Um, so yeah, that's it's actually kind of fun to touch, but I wish it was a different color. But uh, you can't complain for the amount of money that you spend on these. Um, but anyway, uh, it has the, the maple bindings. It is um, another redwood for the armrest. Um, yeah, other, other than that, it pretty much has the same specifications of any other 800 series uh, Taylor guitar. They did, uh, if you didn't notice, Earlier they redid the Taylor logo on the uh, headstock, the peg head. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the other th cool thing, I don't know if I can show you on the camera, but uh, most guitars come with ebony, ebony wood on, on, the, on the net fret, fretboard. And, uh, a lot of guitar makers uh, make sure that they only get the dark wood and uh, Taylor uh, doesn't want Dyke to waste things now so they've in, the, in recent years they've changed to accepting all of the ebony wood because uh, it is kind of a um, uh, a rare wood in, in the fact that it's, you know, if they overforest it, it's going to go away. So it's not, it's not endangered right now, but uh, previously they would throw away any of this uh, wood that would have the, the, the different coloring in it and instead just stick with the black, the ebony. But uh, I really like this. You can see the green tone in here and uh, it's really kind of cool. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, this guitar is um, 
pretty cool. I, I haven't really played with it much. I just uh, played it a little bit in the store, got it adjusted, and then uh, brought it home. But uh, yeah, I'll be playing this quite a bit. Uh, hopefully nobody else will be touching it uh, because uh, I put in pretty much my life savings for this. But uh, yeah, so <clears throat> that's pretty much the guitar. If you guys have any questions, about any anything, uh, if if you want to know more about the guitar itself or you know different specification or where you can go to find one, uh, go ahead and put it down in the comments. And uh, of course, uh, I will include my shameless pl plug to subscribe to this channel if you want to see uh, more of the things that come through my office. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.